guys, it's Rose, and this week we are talking about color correspondences. Uh, I think I said that right. So, um, it's Sunday, I was late to make the video on Friday, and I am subbing for the sub host on Friday. <laughs> so, um, color correspondences. Um, it's, it's a very hard topic, I would say, because in my opinion, the colors, um, the correspondences of that color and the meanings of what a color means for someone is really different for each person. Um, I, I would think maybe that red is like action and fire and someone else might resonate it with really rooting for the root chakra. So it's, it's really a different opinion from everyone. And you have books full of color correspondences, um, what the herbs mean and so on and so on. But you really have to feel um and really look la at the color and try to connect to the color and try to like search what you feel what energy does that color give to you um i use colors a lot in my candles i have candles everywhere on my altar um for example i have on my left left side on my altar i have a white candle and that represents for me my goddess candle and at the right side of my altar, I have a yellow candle, which um, really represents my God. And white is more like this softer color. It's the divine. It represents the moon. The moon is white most of the time. <laughs> and yellow, obviously, is for the sun. And I really connect my goddess to the moon and my God to the sun. So that's why I use uh, white and yellow. But there are people who use red for the goddess and green for the god so it really um changes for each person and um i also have three other candles on my altar i will post a link somewhere for a picture um so in the middle between my goddess and my god candle i have three candles who changes every i would say sabbath season so each sabbath i change my altar um, and i use color cloths and everything around that time so now i have orange and dark brown um, and leaves everywhere to present the autumn equinox who was in september and um the first i have three candles in the middle <laughs> i'm trying to explain this um so try and see it before you so left right and then in the middle of the three candles so the left candle is red um which represents also for me the goddess but she is like a little bit more sad but also um because at uh in the story of the wheel of the year uh the god is uh, becoming less stronger and during Samhain we are saying goodbye to the god so we already feel um the the pain of the goddess already because she has to say goodbye to the god soon so that's why i uh, represent it with red but for me red is also um really like action um passion and it's a, for me it's really a fertility um color because every time of the month the woman has her period and that represents blood too and um, during the autumn equinox, we harvest a lot and we have apples and that's also a resonation for me with the color red. And then the third candle, so we have left the goddess again and then right, I have another yellow candle and that represents the god again. Um, so it changes every se season, but this time it's a yellow candle because the sun um, is becoming uh, less... <laughs> How do you say this in English? So you see the sun less. So um, that is for me like the last yellow candle to say a little bit more goodbye um, to the God for it because it's the last um, Sabbath that he will be really like represent uh, during the ritual and the season. And then in the middle, I have a orange candle, which represents for me, um, yellow is um, like really hope and um it's it's a light in in the darkness um because the year is waning and it's darker and at that time 
for me, uh, orange is very important because it's that little spark of hope. Um, it's like, hold on, it's going to get light soon. And it also represents the orange colors of the leaves that are falling down. Um, so I really work with colors in candles on my altar. And that for me is really like color magic, I would say, <laughs> with candles. Um, I also use candles, obviously, uh, during the new moon and the full moon. Um, depending on which zodiac sign the moon is in. For example, uh, Capricorn for me is brown. Um, let me think. Red for me is Aries, like very action, power, the passion, and really starting to do things. Uh, let me think. Uh, green for me is Taurus because it's an earth sign. And during a Taurus full moon, I would most likely do um um how do you say that a wealth spell or a ritual around money man uh, manifesting things um so that's really like the green color and taurus is a for me the perfect zodiac sign to work with the green colors more and for manifesting things and um abundance so um let me think of another color mm -mm -mm. During Beltane, I use a lot of pink. Most people would like uh, more like red colors, but for me, Beltane is about love and most likely self-love. I work a lot of, uh, about self-love during that Sabbath, so everything is pink at that moment. Um, the reason why is because rose quartz, for me, it's a pink crystal, and that really connects with self-love for me. And I want to, like, make that a huge thing and then at that moment the whole altar is pink so um that is yeah pink is for me really about self-love um i'm thinking about another color blue uh i really resonated with speaking um for the throat chakra and about your emotions so it's really talking your emotions but in a soft and gentle way and it also represents water cups so again the emotions um speak for your emotions so that's really another thing um blue is like like that soothing calm refreshing cleansing energy um thinking about another color which one did i not mention yet um purple behind me <laughs> is for the crown chakra I use purple a lot during Samhain um, because for me, purple represents the crone goddess, the wise old lady sitting in her chair. <laughs> um, so that really brings that energy for me. It's also um, uh, correspondences with amethyst for me, the crystal. And so that really combines that energy again of the crown chakra and really going into your higher state and um, Think about what you have done during the year, what you still want to do, and really learn from everything that happened in the waxing year and that you want to finish before uh, the waxing year starts again. So, uh, yeah, it's, the colors mean something different for everyone else. I work a lot with co colors, um, and I have a lot of meanings for every color. I use it for zodiac signs, for my sabbaths. Um, for my spells, color is a big thing for me. But again, what I feel about green can feel something different for you. Um, I heard once that green would mean um, sickness because when you're sick, you turn green. Uh, like you, you, you feel green, <laughs> I would say. Um, and everything that comes out is green. Um, but for me, that, that, that's not the color of being sick. Um, for me, that's more like gray-ish. Um, but for me, again, green means uh, good health, um, money, the heart chakra, so love, but like love that you give to others because pink is self-love. It's something different. Um, so it can mean something different for everyone. Um, I'm really curious um, what the correspondences are for the colors that you guys use. So, um, yeah, 
I am rambling here so much and it's a very hard topic to explain each color, so I'm not going to do that. If you want to uh, find correspondences, I mean, the whole internet is full of it. You can just look it up, but I would really try and put take a candle in, a, in, in pink or um, take a paper, colored paper, and just gaze at that color and meditate on the color. Try to feel what it is. Take another paper or the green paper and just meditate, focus, and try to write down everything that you feel at that moment. I did that with all the colors um, and it really helped me. I have a lot of correspondences for all the colors and I'm pretty sure they are all different from all the books that I have. Um, but it's what I feel with that color. It's what I really connect to it. Um, so yeah, uh, long story short, you have to figure it out yourself. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to close this because I have nothing else to say about this topic, um, but it's a very important topic for me. So I'll see you guys next week on Friday, and I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday evening and an amazing next week till Friday. Bye guys. <laughs>